Hey kids, have you ever felt that maybe you don't have enough, like you would be happier or better off with more toys, more books, or you're not loved enough? Um, I know an old lady who used to think like this until she realized that she actually had more than what she needed. So let's get into the story and think about this. Okay. So today we are reading A Squash and a Squeeze by Julia Donaldson. It's a very interesting story. That's the little old lady. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs. See? With a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. There's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, would you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your hen, said the wise old man. So the wise old man is telling the lady, bring your hen inside. Take in my hen? What a curious plan. So she didn't understand it, but she thought, why not try it? Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped around the room knocking over the jug. So the hen's already making a nuisance here. Oh, the little old lady doesn't look happy. The little old lady cried. What shall I do? It was pokey for one and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. So what did the wise old man suggest next? Take in your goat, said the wise old man. Now the wise old man is telling her, you brought in the hen, now you bring in the goat as well. <gasps> Take in my goat. What a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg and sat down to nibble the table leg. So, the goat is making her own mess now. She's chewing the curtains, she's nibbling the table leg. Ah, let's see our little old lady. Ah, the little old lady cried. Glory be! It was tiny for two and it's titchy for three. The hen pecks the goat and the goat's got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. So what does the wise old man tell her? Take in your pig, said the wise old man. Take in my pig. What a curious plan. She's even more confused now. She took in her pig who kept chasing the hen and raiding the larder again and again. The little old lady cried. Stop! I implore. It was titchy for three. It's teeny for four. Even the pig in the larder agrees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, 
wise old man won't you help me please my house is a squash and a squeeze take in your cow said the wise old man take in my cow what a curious plan well the cow took one look and charged straight at the pig then jumped on the table and tapped out a cheek the old little old lady cried heavens alive it was teeny for four and it's weeny for five i am tearing my hair out i am down on my knees my house is a squash and a squeeze and she said wise old man won't you help me please my house is a squash and a squeeze take them all out said the wise old man but then i'll be back where i first began so the little old lady is even more confused i will be exactly where we started but she took his advice so she opened the window and out flew the hen that's better at last i can sneeze again she shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig my house is beginning to feel pretty big she huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow just look at my house it's enormous now it's the same old house thank you old man for the work you have done it was weeny for 5 it's gigantic for 1 there's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse there's plenty of room in my house and now she is full of frolics and fiddle dee dees it isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze yes she is full of frolics and fiddle dee dees it isn't a squash or a squeeze so that's a squash and a squeeze for you bye bye